Oh, hi. It's me, Brian Hare, and I'm here today to show you this fun video of this hair color transformation that I did. I'm calling it my foil to balayage conversion. Uh, so here you can see <clears throat> we've got our gorgeous model. She's got long, beautiful, curly hair, and she's just not really super stoked with the way that her blonde looks. She's just been foiled over and over and over again. So she prefers that beachier, cool kind of surfer girl look. So I told her that we could switch her over. And in doing it, I wanted to show you guys too, in case you come across this scenario in your salon experiences. Uh, so basically, just like I would any normal balayage, I started her off with her natural part so that I can plan for how this is gonna sit. Uh, I've started in the back, obviously. As I can also see, they started her foils in the back because I'm noticing that she's got really strong, bright, bright foils back there. So I've mixed three bowls. I've got uh, my balayage lightener with 40 volume and Olaplex for the root, balayage lightener and 20 volume with Olaplex for the ends. And then I've mixed a demi-permanent sheer low light at a level six. And my goal here is to have this when I'm done look just like a normal balayage would, but mixing my own highs and lows to create that. So as I'm working through the back, I'm finding areas that I do think should have some energy and lightness through it. And I'm painting big heavy highlights on there using the 40 volume at the root like you see right there making my sec my uh, my hand painted sections a little bit bigger because she does wear her hair curly so I want to make sure that it still shows up properly and I get the 20 volume on the ends just sort of marry them together a little bit because through lots and lots of foiling her ends they're just a little bit muddy we want them to be the brightest I want all the energy really running through those ends so that's what the 20 volume is for and then I'm using the low lights to go in between and sort of start to create my shadow. The reason I go with a demi is because it helps to kind of marry everything together. It's going to hit high hair that's been highlighted. It's going to hit hair that hasn't been highlighted. And then it's just going to kind of work all this together so that as her hair grows in, we can start to just do balayage on her from here on out. And it will, it will work and it'll look really pretty and it'll soften it and it'll give her the look she wants. As I get up to that high point of the head, I do a really heavy low light right there because I want it to look grown in. And she had some really strong foils there. So I just did the 20 on the ends with the, uh, the low light at the high point. Working on the face, I tend to like lighter, lighter tones through the face or by the face, I'm sorry, and then darker just behind it to make those pop. So in areas like here where She's not too too bad, too stripey. I can just go ahead and paint it right on there. This is one of my favorites, this spot right here, because you can see that spot of her natural that's been missed with two really strong highlights next to it. I am going to use my sheer demi low light to kind of marry those together. I'm softening the really banded highlight by transitioning it into her base using a sheer demi. And what's good is it's got that slightly more jelly kind of consistency, so I don't have to make sure that it's smeared all the way through down to the end. It's going to kind of travel where it needs to go, and just it helps with the, the diffusion of the old highlights. So we wrap that bad boy up. This is always my favorite spot. I want to have those few highlights right on that part line really, really bright, so I'm going to paint that on there to get it really bright with my balayage and then toss a little low light right behind it just to make those highlights pop even more. And if you look, I now I'm covering up some old base color that slipped in between the foils there that are going to keep that from being the brightest because that's where I really want her, her eye to go when she looks at this in the mirror. The rest of it's for us. The stuff around the face is for her. So again, just getting a good, good strong highlight around the face, make sure those ends are cleaned up a little bit. If you see anywhere that there was some heavy foiling or you think it's just inconsistent looking with how you want it to be, 
then by all means, let's drop a low light right in there and make make the highs that you're putting in pop. Like, oh man, look, come on, look at that. That's gonna be perfect. And then 20 through the ends to make sure that they're nice and bright. I am gonna be honest, I think on this last piece, I went 40 all the way through because it was the last piece. Everything else has been cooking for a minute. This one, it, we, it can afford to cook a little bit longer. So you just hit that sweet spot right there on the face with the 40. I can see she's grown out enough that I don't need to add a low light right there. She's got enough of her own base in there to do it for me. So you see as it's starting to process, give her a good rinse and a wash. I toned her. I believe I used a level 9, and I left it at the roots first and let that process. And then right at the end, smooshed it through the ends because leaving it on the root a little bit longer is just going to help me even more with that nice little transition down at the root. So now you can see where it's nice and straight. She's got those ends nice and clean and bright blonde now. And now it's a, it's a softer shadow to light look and it's not quite so banded and you know, as it, right here, I like this shot because this shows you, while there you can still see some old foil work, it's okay. We've softened it considerably. I don't want to use a permanent color when I'm doing this because if she continues to be a balayage client, if I use a permanent color, then eventually I'm going to hit it with a highlight and then it's going to get all crazy and wonky. And I just want her pretty and blonde. So sheer demi, nice light. Look at that beautiful surfer hair. I mean, come on. Now she's not a foil girl, she's a balayage girl. Mm -hmm. 